Thanks for that. So, so General, what do you think of some of the new subjects that we're going to see covered at next year's Armoured Vehicles Conference? Well, apart from the obvious ones, such as innovations in design and new materials, I think a pretty hot topic is going to be simulation and training, and that's hot for both customers and suppliers. Most armed forces around the world today are looking to minimise the amount of time that their people spend on hands-on training on the armoured vehicles themselves, and to maximise the amount of time they spend on simulators. Um, and I think uh, there's a lot of scope in that area. And uh, we've seen some uh, very good technical uh, solutions at last year's conference. I think increasingly we're going to, and we're going to be devoting time and space uh, in the 2010 International Armoured Vehicles Conference and exhibition to that subject. So John, apart from the fact that you'll be chairing next year's event, which is obviously a good enough reason to attend in itself, what other reason do you think that people should attend this event, considering there's lots of other options and armoured vehicles conferences out there in the market? Well, that's a good question. There are a lot of these conferences. But I thought that this year's conference um, was uh, up at the very top of the league table. Uh, I thought that was confirmed by the feedback that we've had. Um, and I think that uh, the reason I've agreed to chair next year's conference is that the organisers are determined to uh, keep this conference at the cutting edge, to keep it right at the forefront, and to keep the focus not just on the war, Afghanistan, but also on the wider wish issues of, of armoured vehicles in a war, if you like, future conflict more generally. Uh, and I think that's very important. Um, so I shall be helping them to uh, bring on board some uh, very authoritative speakers. Uh, I shall be uh, seeking to keep the focus on innovation and forward thinking. And I think also that the uh, conference and the exhibition side by side will again be a great combination. And the aim is to make uh, the conference not the conference you can't afford to attend, but the conference you can't afford to miss, whether you're in government, whether you're in the armed forces, whether you're in industry or the media.